people who see this many years later can tell us who you are? Okay, I'm Darla Wise, and I want to tell you about me meeting my oldest brother, Bernice, for the first time. It was back in the early 60s. I was working in a barber shop in Brownfield, a three chair barber shop. I worked the middle chair, <coughs> excuse me, between two men. And we were terribly busy that day. And when someone comes in the door, regardless whether we know them or not, we say, hello, come in, have a seat. And uh, this man came in. And I looked around at him, said, hello, have a seat. And he smiled at me real big. And he sat down. And I could feel him just staring at me. And I'd look over at him every once in a while. He'd smile real big. I'd smile back and continue my hair cutting. Well, I looked over at him one time and he winked at me. I thought, how strange. So I kept on working. And in a minute, I looked around again, and he winked at me the second time. So I put my clippers in the drawer, turned them off, and I put my hands on my hips. I said, sir, am I supposed to know you? And he said, you might. But he didn't say you might like we do. He said, you might. <laughs> and he looked kind of favored one of my brothers. I couldn't get over it. I thought, man, that guy looks like one of my brothers. So I stood there and, and uh, I said, sir, are you my brother? <laughs> and he grinned real big and he said, yes, honey, I am. And he got up and came with her and put his hand on my shoulder. And this, there, there was a cowboy back there in the shoe shine, chair getting his boots shine. And he said, my God, daughter, don't you know your own brother? <laughs> So Bernice spoke up and said, she has a very legitimate excuse for that. Uh, she hasn't seen me since she was about four years old. So the man whom I was working for was on my right, and he said, uh, Darla, why don't you go ahead and take off the rest of the afternoon and visit with your brother? And I said, we're awful busy. And he said, we'll handle it. You take off. So I checked out quickly, and I went ahead and left, and he followed me. Uh, we lived on a cotton gin yard at that time, and he followed me to my house, and Don was inside the cotton gin doing repair work. And so Bernice started walking out toward the cotton gin, and Don saw, saw him, so he came to meet him. Bernice walked up to him, and he said, uh, you don't know me. Don said, yes, I do, too your Darla's oldest brother, because I've seen too many pictures of you. So they shook hands, and he came to the house, and we started having our, our nice visit. And I got teased about that several times because I didn't know my own brother. <laughs> and that does sound kind of country, but... I <laughs> but Darla, before you, before you leave, you know, they should know that... that tell them what year Bernice was born and what year you were born. He was born in 1913. I was born in 1933. So he was 20. My father was 20 before he met, or before you met her oldest brother, 20 years apart. Yeah. That, that makes it more. That makes a lot of difference there. Michael, let me hear your hand. Thank you. Have a seat, anybody.